I'm at an old cemetery here in Loretto, Pennsylvania. Very old cemetery. Actually, I found uh, Captain Michael McGuire's grave. Passed away in 1793. He was a veteran of the American Revolutionary War. So there's a lot of history here. But as amazing as this cemetery is, I don't even know this was here. I'm actually here to see an old church that was built around the turn of the century, around 1906 or so. And more importantly, a crypt that is here that you can actually go down inside. And there's a prince that is down there. He died in the mid 1800s. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that and show you how interesting it is down in this crypt. Uh, prince Demetrius Gallatin was born in 1770 in the Netherlands. He was raised as a Russian Orthodox, but converted to Catholicism and made his way one way or another to America. So he came to America in 1792. I believe he was actually sent by his parents. His father was a Russian ambassador to the Netherlands. On a side note, this entire area around me used to be a huge orphanage and it burned in 1904. So in its place is just uh, a convent up there, I believe. And then this church that I'm gonna show you, which was, I believe built or completed in 1906, but the crypt is actually right behind the tree. A very interesting thing about this prince is that he traveled around investigating paranormal situations. He did paranormal investigations, um, also traveled around to different churches. Eventually he ended up here in the Allegheny Mountains in Pennsylvania. And at the ripe old age of, I believe 29, he founded the town of Loretto, which is where we are. Now this church, it says built in 1906, maybe it was completed in 1906, but yeah, so I just looked it up. It says in 1899 to 1901, the steel industrialist Charles Schwab funded the construction of a large stone church, which is this stone church. And once Gallatin died, Schwab also provided funds for this bronze statue and the crypt that Gallatin sits in to this day. In 1802, he became a U.S. citizen and he was the first English-speaking Catholic priest in the country. He died in 1840 at 69 years old. This was erected in 1899 and you can still go down inside. Everyone, everyone that comes here is welcome to come down inside and leave a little note or leave something behind and uh, pay your respects to the prince. All right, here we go. Is really small in here, really tight. So, this is where the prince is. Unbelievable. Now this thing is really, I mean, it's only about maybe four feet tall. I'll show you what some of this stuff is. People leave notes here. Look at this, please save my son Ken's life. Bring his mind back and bring him back to Jesus. Heal our family and give my husband and I strength. Look at this, all these different notes here. Servant of God, Demetrius A. Gallatin, 
Now, interestingly enough, Demetrius was named a servant of God, which is the first step on the path to possible sainthood. Now, keep in mind, I am not a historian, so there's a lot more information online about him and the life he led. Very interesting stuff, but um, I can't recite all that stuff. But if you're interested, tons of information, look it up. Hey, come here for yourself. Check it out. Beautiful area. The crypt for a prince. Pretty interesting. All right, I'm getting back on the road. See you in the next video.